again everyone. Uh, we're going to do a JVG commentary this time between Troll Wars and ZQ. So I'm here with Joe, and this was a quarterfinals match on Druid's Off. Okay, let's go. Alright, so first of all, uh, the builds. Uh, looks like ZQ is running a uh, pretty standard triple frontline builds. Uh, triple frontline is not seen as uh, often nowadays. But it's still quite strong in uh, certain matchups. So uh, it's the Ranger Necro version of Triple Frontline. Sometimes it's run with Ranger and Mesmer, but most of the time with Ranger Necro. And NP running a Triple Frontline build of their own. Three Dervishes, two Mesmers. So NP actually did run this build. I think they are practicing it a lot in Swiss rounds. It's probably going to be the Lord Damage build, where you have just a bunch of Melandry Dervishes or Tanky Dervishes. Yeah, there we go, Melandry. So they're going to be really gunning for some lore damage right from the get-go. They're probably going to rush right into Ziku's base. They're bringing out the seed on one of their dervishes. They're going to cap the seed, probably run over it, and just go straight for knights and lore damage. And it's probably going to be either a Domez uh, or a Wastrels on one of the Mesmers, and the other one is probably going to be an AD. I think it's very interesting because uh, Troll Wars, when they were running this in the Swiss rounds, they actually ran four monks, so uh, I wonder why they decided to drop uh, a monk for a Mesmer. Um, maybe they thought they would have more success with uh, an extra Mesmer instead of an uh, extra monk. This is a really interesting move by them. They're running. They're not running over the vines here, they're running actually around to the front door of ZQ, and their main team is pulling back. So ZQ actually have pretty much the ideal build for this kind of game, I think. Um, this Weistros Mesmer would normally do a lot of work against teams that have Ellie's, and they might have expected Ellie's because Ziku is American, but the Weistros Mesmer against Ranger Necro Triple Front is really doesn't really do anything. All he can do is pretty much just run flags, so that is really going to probably count against them a lot. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to run flags, but he doesn't even have a speed boost, so um, yeah, I mean, he's going to have a hard time being useful this game. Oh, I just saw PNH. PNH on the flagger of ZQ is going to help them immensely against the AOD. So this yeah, is already so, looking I quite mean, bad for MP. It, it looks like MP was able to get down one night, but um, I mean, they're going to be stuck in this AVA situation, which is horrible for them since their build is really not designed to AVA. Yeah, they really don't want to be fighting on the vine seat like this. This is this is a, like a super risky position for MP to be in. MP don't have a build that can actually score any kills. So, as, as long as they're fighting in this situation, all they can do is just lose or get out of it. Looks like ZQ might be running a flag through front door with the Ranger, so once the Ranger caps and he comes to main team, it's going to be super risky position for NP to be in. I mean, also it looks like this Dervish is... At one point, MP for some reason had all of its Dervishes balled up for the ZQ Dervish to just hit. Um, I don't know if that was planned or not, but it seems like uh, it was working well for ZQ. So MP pushes back in to kind of get away from the vine seed, except it looks like their backline is still kind of stuck here against the damage of ZQ, which is really not where they want to be. They want to be in a place where they can they have a lot of room to move around and run back to their base, but being stuck here is going to punish them quite a bit. Well, I mean, MP is just going to take a ton of pressure. I mean, Matoko even has Rand on his bar. Like, he has so much enchant removal, and uh, Exile is just constantly on this prod monk. I mean, we've seen it before, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna create a lot of pressure. Um, I mean, these Mesmers are really squishy, they're just gonna get trained out, and eventually these monks are gonna run out of energy if they keep fighting like this. They really need to get off this bridge. Another thing that ZQ is actually boosting, so they don't actually need to run flag, which is great news for them. It would probably be beneficial for NP if they uh, run the flag because the waste shows. I'm sure he, he can't do anything in main team right now. Like, there's nothing for him to erupt or camp or do damage to, really. So he could just be running flag and forcing uh, ZQ to run flag as well. But it looks like ZQ is going to be comfortably boosting, and the dervishes of NP have fallen back to try and help out their backline that were getting low. They will be able to help out with their imbue healths a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just I think MP is. They should really just pull back and try to resplit. Um, yeah, it looks like I, they're starting to. Yeah, I don't think this AVA is working well at all for them. Uh, See the dervishes running back to the front door. 
I mean, this number five Mesmer is just taking tons of damage. It's it's just getting trained out by the Dervish constantly. It looks like uh, ZQ's whole strategy is... Um, it seems like Exile basically just sticks on the Proud Monk, and then their other two frontliners try to converge to score kills. Check out just how aggressive ZQ is playing right now. They sent back two monks for the four damage and have one monk in main. Actually, they're sending back a dervish now and a necro, but for a moment there, they had just all their damage main team to try and kill the monks of MP, which is really fantastic. Uh, the problem you have a lot of times when you're playing against this kind of dervish build is that the AOD and the three dervishes are actually able to kill NPCs through the two monks that you defend with. But because ZQ has uh, P and H on the flagger, they will probably actually be able to defend against these four damage with just two healers, which is great news for them, and really, really bad news for MP. Well, the other thing is, since they have their own Vinesy cap, it's so easy for them to collapse back to their base, and uh, it's very, very difficult for MP to be able to follow at all with their monks. Yeah, that's true. So they can actually push out MP from their base whenever they really want. So they're pushing them out right now, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to score a kill from it. So that I mean, will actually looks, start the game a little bit more. It looks like this Wastrel's Mesmer is just spamming Wastrel's on these Warriors. Uh, I guess, I mean, that's just, I mean, he got a good PI on one of those strike, kills. Yeah. But uh, it seems like his most effective use is just spamming Wastrel's on Warriors. Which is obviously not optimal for a Wastrel's yeah. Mesmer. Yeah, so he won't have a speed boost, so it's not like he can even run flags all that effectively, so... It's really... Oh, he's got backfire as well, so he really doesn't have an optimized build for this kind of matchup against 3 melee. So it looks like MP really weren't expecting this build from ZQ. They're really expecting a lot more for Ellie's. So ZQ has just sent their two monks back right now against the 4 damage of NP, which is probably still going to work great for them with the PNH, and going super hard on the back line of NP, which is trying to pull back to their base, but is having a really rough time against the 5 damage. Like, this is a lot of snares and KDs and a lot of movement Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this. I mean, there's a Ren that just got off. Uh, this, this number 6 is, I mean, he looks to be in trouble. Strip, good Savage on Guardian. Nice PI and a hammer bash there. Oh, Meatloaf, uh, the hammer warrior. I think that's the dev hammer of ZQ gets the boss. So that is just like the best character for them to get boss on, I think. Uh, this is this is going to be huge trouble for MP. I mean, they might even wipe here. They got they have two monks against what five damage. This could be for a game. Full minute. Could be game. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there's no way they're going to survive here. Number seven just go. Number six is about to go down. Yeah, it looks like this is gonna be game. I mean, I'm not sure what MP can do. Wow. Yeah, surely they have a full minute. That's just that's just the game right there. Yeah, I mean, looking back on this game, I feel like the game was over when they loaded in. Uh, like, uh, I'm not up. sure what. Uh, yeah. They do, but I think the game is over, like, the Guild Lord's gonna go down. Oh, actually, they got both monks up, wow. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, looks like, yeah, you're right, they won't be able to end it, so it looks like I jumped the gun there. But this is but, gonna uh, be a nightmare, like, situation for NP to be in right now. Getting, like, usually what you want with this kind of build is you want a lot of room with your main team to pull back and sort of expand over so that you, like, can really reduce the damage that you take by running over a lot of space, except they're going to be constrained to this really small area because of how far in the damage of ZQ is pushed in. So really, uh, all NP can do right now is kind of do a, a seed, like block over the vine seed and try and make a crazy Lord Rush play or something, but it looks like the monk of ZQ, uh, Chumley, did a great job at beating these dervishes back to his own base. So he's well, not going to be able to get blocked. Is... I mean, what's this... Dev hammer gets boss. I, there's, I don't think there's any way MP is going to be able to hold up against this. It's just, I mean, the monks are just going to be constantly on the ground. Yeah, there we go. Number seven goes down. I mean, if you have two of your monks on the ground, like almost the whole game, it's going to be almost impossible to be able to keep up. The MP is still deciding not to run the flag. It'll probably be impossible from this position anyway, considering no speed boost and the ranger. 
seems to be quite good at, and quite aware of Bowman flags. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I think the nail in the nail in the coffin this game was when uh, the number one warrior got the boss. I mean, we've seen this mad how strong uh, a dev hammer warrior with the boss can be, especially with no counterplay. Yeah, so that was a very interesting game. Uh, congrats to ZQ. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.